Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are doing a Sephora haul and I also have coffee because I need it because I've had the longest day in the world. Mm. So I don't know if they have caribou coffee in like the west coast and the east coast or even in the southern part of the continent but if you guys have never tried caribou coffee you're actually missing out i remember when i went to new york a few years ago i just like all i could drink was starbucks because that was like the main coffee um shops you know you find starbucks everywhere in new york and i was like my god what i would do for a caribou and then once i got to minnesota on my flight back home i found a caribou and i had myself a caribou cooler and i was like thank you jesus thank you so yeah that's my story about caribou so if you're ever in the um north check out um their coffee because i love their coffee and i think it's really good so anyway without further blabbering let's get into what i picked up from sephora okay guys so sephora sent that what is it twenty dollars off a hundred dollar purchase which i use to justify some things that are new and uh, i just wanted to pick them up and try them out for myself so the first thing i got was this new foundation this is the laura mercier flawless fusion ultra longwear foundation and this is one fluid ounce and it basically says that this is Laura's longest wearing foundation seamlessly fuses to your skin with a weightless layer that looks fits and feels like a second skin moving with your every move skin enhancing pigments fuse with ultra long wear for our most modern flawless medium to full coverage that's naturally you leaves a matte finish that's never dull or flat so yeah I mean this is the foundation I have on today I feel like the color match isn't the greatest I did pick up the shade 4-in-1 Suntan and this has a 12 month shelf life. I thought this would be a good match just based off of like description on the website of course because I buy most of my foundations and stuff online because I only have a, a Sephora that's inside JCPenney where I live so a lot of the products don't ever get to me. I have to order online and just kind of test it out that way. But yeah so I've only worn this foundation for two days and so far I think it's okay. Today I did mix it with the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. Um, um, the foundation drops and I think that kind of helps prolong the foundation no matter which foundation I'm wearing so yesterday I wore this without anything mixed in and I didn't think it lasted very long on my face so I'm going to keep testing this out it is too soon to tell but this foundation is pretty pricey I want to say it's in the 40 to 50 dollar range so Laura Mercier is one of those nicer brands at Sephora and I really don't have a lot from this brand I think the only other thing I can think of that I have that's Laura Mercier is that O1 highlighter from her, which I never use either. It's kind of one of those brands when I like hear the name, I think it's synonymous with like lighter skin tones. I feel like it's one of those products that I automatically just think of caters to lighter skin tones, which may not even be the case, but it's just mentally what I think of it. So that will be a really interesting video. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see see a video where I talk about brands that just automatically remind me of like lighter skin tones so I don't even bother trying them. Um, Laura Mercier is definitely one of them and so is Physicians Formula. That one is Notorious and Almay of course that one really caters to white women but even their lippies like I just I'm like meh they don't make anything for me. So anyway that's another tangent for another day so yeah testing this out i will let you know how i feel next product that i have fallen in love with are these nars liquid lipsticks these are the power matte lip pigment and i ended up getting two shades this is the one that came in my online order and then i actually picked this one last night at sephora so i have the shades save the queen and don't stop and yeah what can i say i really like these so far the only thing about them is they leak a lot like this oily residue seems to like seep out of them if you turn them to their side so i would definitely caution you guys against that um just always keep them like right side up so 
make sure they're not like tipped over and stuff because they tend to leak which is really strange as far as whether they're comfortable or not i think they are extremely comfortable uh probably one of the most comfortable formulas that i enjoy um for reference i really like the kat von d liquid lipsticks i am also a fan of the jeffree star liquid lipsticks i don't like the color pop liquid lipsticks it's really hard for me to get into those because i feel like they're really drying on my skin so that's just kind of a reference point for you and Personally, I do love the brand NARS so, so very much. So I did, you know, I always want to try more things from them. And these were really good. Actually, up there, I have a set that is now exclusively at Ulta. It's their Velvet Lip Glides. And I actually don't like that set very much. It should actually be in this video because I bought it at an Ulta store and it hasn't been featured in a haul yet. But yeah, there's six shades in there. And it was, I don't know, it's like a glossy very pigmented glossy formula so it's definitely not a liquid lipstick and sometimes I think things that are supposed to be really hydrating for me end up almost drying me out like a lot of glosses I feel like almost dry my lips out which is so strange and bizarre but I think it's like a mental thing because I know in my brain that a liquid lipstick is going to make my lips dry but when I put on a gloss I really expect it to keep my lips nice and moist. Some of my favorite um, lip glosses are definitely the Buxom ones. And at one point I really did like the Kylie lip glosses as well, but I haven't purchased any new ones from her since I bought her first three liquid lipsticks. I do have a video on those somewhere. So link it up in the cards if you're interested in that. Uh, but let's see here. So those are really good. I'm still testing them out, but I really really like them Also another formula I've been dying to try are the bite beauty amuse bush liquefied lipsticks Of course, I've seen a lot of bite beauty fans try these. I just don't like traditional lipsticks anymore I know people think it's a fad and like liquid lipsticks are a fad and traditional lipsticks will just never go out of style but honestly liquid lipsticks are my solution to a problem which was that regular lipsticks don't last. So this is kind of a great in-between. It definitely doesn't dry matte. It stays on your lips. It's very comfortable though. It's not one of those glossy lips that like is drying. I really couldn't, you know, tell you much more about this yet because I just wore it today for the first time. But I really like the color. The shade I got is Chutney. I just wanted to get one color and see if I actually enjoyed the formula before I purchased more. Um, I love the packaging. This is probably one of my favorite formulas from Bite because I don't like just the mousse bouche, you know, lipsticks. I know a lot of people love that product, but again, for me, it's just not, it does not meet the requirements of what I need in a lipstick. So I'm I love liquid lipsticks. I'm so glad that that was like an invention because otherwise I would be suffering. Okay, so next, let's talk about this guy. Now this was expensive, I'm not gonna lie. This is my this is my second product that I've tried from the Drunk Elephant. This is a Shaba Complex Eye Serum and I've been looking for a new eye serum and a new like eye cream. Um, I got the Mario Badescu one from Ulta a while ago. I don't love it. Um, so I thought, you know, this was the perfect opportunity for me to try one. So since I have been dying to try Drunken Elephant, I figured I would get something that I actually needed, which was an eye cream. So I picked up their eye serum. And this says, Silky Eye Serum formulated to tackle the major signs of an aging under and around the eyes, such as fine lines, wrinkles, dark circles, and puffiness. The result is awakened, youthful, and radiant looking eyes. So that's basically everything I'm looking for. It also says on here that it's suggested use morning and night, apply a small amount to fingertips, and apply under the eye around the orbital bone and on eyelid with a gentle patting motion. So I'm, I've used this three times so far and I actually really like it. I do feel like it re refreshes my eyes for some reason. I definitely feel like it's doing something whereas other eye creams that I've used in the past, I just feel like I'm putting an eye cream on and I don't see any changes. But with this, I just feel like it's doing something. So the sucker was like 68 or 60 something dollars. So it is very expensive. I'm gonna keep testing it out. I really like their packaging because it has a little twistable lid and then you twist it back. So it's very hygienic and stuff. It's not like a pot where you're dipping your finger into it, which I really appreciate, especially when you're putting it so close to a sensitive area. So 
I will keep testing this out, but so far it is really wowing. Next item I want to talk to you guys about is this Cover FX Perfect Pressed Powder in the shade Medium. And I picked this up because I actually have their loose powder and I love that. I use it all the time to set my under eyes. But I talked about in my current favorites a combo that I've been using, which is the Lancome Tint Idol Foundation. And I mix in some Cover FX foundation drops. And that combination is really great but it definitely tends to move around on my face so I really have to set it and I wanted a press powder because I thought it'd be easier to like press that into my skin versus using a loose powder because I feel like sometimes loose powders they don't really land exactly where you want them to it's hard to like concentrate them and buff them in personally for me so I thought I would try this and now I've been just like really enjoying it I've only used it a few times so you know I will definitely report back to you guys but I like this it's cute compact and everything like that so it's a good powder and I really like the cover fix brand They've never let me down. All their products, I feel like, are truly amazing. So let me know some of your favorites from Cover FX. Okay, and then last thing I picked up from Sephora. This was so bad of me. Like, I don't know why I did it, but it just... Look at this packaging. Like, this box was just sitting on the NARS display, and then they had, like, a palette to swatch, and then I, like, swatched two shades, and I was like, oh, my God, this is a $60 palette. Like, I really don't need another highlighting palette. I... I haven't had very good luck with the NARS like palettes like this, but I was like, you know what? If I don't like it, I can return it. And so I picked it up. This is stunning. This is their summer palette. There's four highlighting shades and two bronzers. So Laguna up here and then Casino up here. Today I did use the bronzer. What I did was I just went up and down with my brush because I know Laguna is too light for me. And this is their Sun Diffuse bronzer. So Casino would typically work with my skin tone, but this is a lighter version of Casino, so I don't feel like it's dark enough, but I mainly bought this for the highlighters, and they are really, really creamy and pretty. I have heard Nicole from Young, Wild & Polish rave about, you know, NARS Hot Sand, and I picked it up actually as a duo a while ago, and I just didn't like the NARS highlighter formula. This one feels a lot different. This doesn't have hot sand in it, but these golden shades are right up my alley. And I was just shocked at what a difference this pigmentation was because it's so buttery. It is actually that highlight I have on today. It might have faded. Keep in mind, I've worked a whole day at this point when I'm filming this video. So I just got home from work and sat and filmed the Sephora haul, but I really like this. I may end up keeping this, which like I didn't need this at all. This was like a total impulse buy, which usually I'm so good at being at Sephora and just walking in, returning something. Or in this case, I just wanted to pick up a red shade from the NARS high pigmented, whatever these liquefied lipsticks. I just wanted to pick up another shade and then I just saw this calling my name and I was like, fuck. So I bought it because I was like, you know what? I'll test it out. I'll see if I like it. If I don't like it, I will take it back. And if I like it, I will just, you know, eat ramen for a few more days. So that is, uh, yeah, that is my big purchase. And if you guys are curious, this is called the Bordeaux Plage palette. It's a highlighting and bronzing palette. I think you can find this anywhere in ours is sold. And it's a stunning palette, this packaging. Like, are you kidding me? Like, this is what all makeup brands should aspire to. It's like big girl packaging, you know? This is what like, I'm a grown woman with money. This is what kind of packaging. It's not like the Too Faced and the Tarte. It's, it's NARS. <laughs> Sorry guys, I wasn't trying to be mean. <laughs> it's just, I just think their packaging is just so elegant, but so like unique as well. So I really love NARS. It's probably one of my all-time favorite brands. Um, I do want to show you some other things I did pick up as well. Um, oh, actually this one, this is from Sephora. It still hasn't gotten returned yet, but I wanted to include this in a haul in case you guys were interested in seeing my swatch video of the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. This is the Glimmer palette. Sorry, I'm holding it upside down. Here it is, and um, I do have a swatch party video, so check it out. Um, I am actually going to be returning this palette, but I wanted to include this in a Sephora haul because I freaking bought it with my own money. And yeah, you can see why I'm returning this in that video. A few other things. I also bought the Lorac Unzipped. Here's the other one. 
I have all three of them. These are the Lorac Unzipped Sunset Series, and I have a swatch video on this as well. I'm actually wearing this palette, the Desert Sunset, on my eyes today, and I must say I was pretty impressed. Like, you guys know I talk a lot of shit about Lorac because I just, like, after the Pro palettes and, like, the Mega Pro palettes, I was, like, over it, and the Pirates of the Caribbean palette, like, really sucked. So I wasn't even planning on buying these and then I was like, you know what, they just look interesting and it's three palettes, like how many times do companies come up with three palettes at once? So, and Desert Sunset actually impressed me. So I'm not gonna say it, go out and buy it right now. I'm definitely gonna test them out and I'm thinking I might do a tutorial for you guys with, with one of these palettes at least, but I do have them and definitely check out my video because I think that'll be super informative for you guys that are looking for swatches. Here is actually the Desert Sunset palette. This is These are the colors that I used on my eyes today and I thought it worked really well for me. So maybe I really like the Rock palette because this is another thing I hauled recently. This is the ABH Subculture palette. Give this video a like if you're sick of hearing about this palette, but here is mine. I will definitely do a review for you guys soon. I'm still wanting to test this out more. It is definitely difficult, guys. It's almost like the shades are so pigmented, they're hard to blend and it can be really messy so if you're new at makeup or you're a beginner or you just don't like a lot of fuss I would definitely pass on that palette for right now at least until you can swatch it in store and play with it and be able to return it without too much fuss because I don't know if that palette's going to be worth all the fuss for just like a regular everyday consumer. Uh, next item I was so happy to pick up is this Lottie London AM to PM eyeliner this is a pencil liner and Casey Holmes talks about how good this is so I wanted to pick it up but when I ordered from Ulta the last time with all the other Lottie London stuff that I will do a first imp impressions on this was out of stock so I'm glad I was able to order it and then the last thing I ordered is a hair care product that I need to test out still this is the dry bar foam shampoo the dry shampoo I'm such a huge fan of dry bar their dry shampoo is my favorite because I have super greasy hair as the only one that gives it enough grit and I recently bought a dry bar straightener oh my gosh I need to review that for you guys a short version it's amazing if you guys are in the market for a nice straightener they're actually on sale right now um, through the Nordstrom anniversary sale which is where I got mine but I'm excited to try this whipped formula because that sounds kind of different so yeah that's basically everything I picked up recently I hope you enjoyed this video I personally love a good haul so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and definitely give this video a thumbs up and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye guys